Hey, hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishnan. We just created what you know the pipeline with a sing singleton descent pattern. So we can use this particular Sanford Core NLP like object throughout our application. Now let's quickly understand how to tokenize the given string using what you know the Core NLP, right? So to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply create a new class called tokenize tokenize example, right? I just created what in a new class. I'm going to introduce what in the public static wide main method PSVM public static wide main. So now what we have to do, of course, you know, we have to get the pipeline, right? So if you look at it, we're trying to perform the tokenized operation. So before actually what in a get the pipeline. So what we have to do, we have to pass the appropriate property to perform what in a tokenizing operation. So to do that, you know, we have to pass uh, the property called what in a token nice or as an annotator okay to what you know our code nlp class right so we actually what you know did that part so what i'm going to do pipeline dot get pipeline method which is going to get us get us what you know the singleton pipeline object sanford it's going to return what you know the sanford code nlp the reference variable so now we actually what you know will get what you know sanford core nlp instance here what i'm going to do i'm going to create what you know the simple text right so i'm going to say what you know text equal to very simple string variable simple text right that's going to contain this is dinesh krishnan right so i just want to what you know perform the tokenization for this particular string right let me add in you know, a few content i'm going to say what you know hey this is dinesh krishnan right so now you you probably you know how to do what what is the tokenization so that's actually what you know this is the string we have. We're going to actually, what, you know, cut the string as what, you know, each and every word. You know, this, you know, this is very important process in, uh, in order to what, you know, I uh, do any, any sort of uh, code NLP operation because with the word only word, you know, the code NLP can, uh, can understand what exactly the each and every word and how to what, you know, take a decision, right? So that's very important. So that's what, you know, we are just, you know, started with the tokenization. So now what we have to do, so I have to create the document. So to create the document, core document, core document equals new core document, which actually takes string as an argument. We can pass our text we have, right? So now we created what, you know, the core document. So now what I'm going to do, I have, I got this object, right? So in this object, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, call the method called annotate, which is actually not going to return anything. I'm going to pass what, you know, the core document that we have. So we have on a code document. I'm passing that code document. I am actually asking my pipeline, a hey, pipeline. I have a document. The document contains some text. You know, could you annotate? Actually, what you know, uh, that is what you know. My exact point it is. So that is going to what you know annotate. Once that is done, what I'm going to do a code document dot. We have a method called what you know the tokens method, right? If you call the tokens method, that is going to return you what you know the list of code label, right? So now you can actually what you know, store them in the reference variable called list of code label right i'll gonna call it as what well, you know code label list let me import it from what you know java title package you know that is called imported now what i'm gonna do obviously i'm gonna what you know iterate this list in order to print what you know the tokenized tokenized string right so to do that what i'm gonna do for code label list so obviously that's gonna return what you know code label object right so code label code label so i'm gonna save this one in code label Reference variable, let me simply what you know, sys out the code label. I'm gonna call what you know original text. So whatever text you have, just you know, pass it. So let's quickly run this example. We'll see what is gonna happen. Right? Now you can see what you know the, the, the given text is actually A, this is Dinesh Krishnan. We have what you know A, then exclamation mark. This is Dinesh Krishnan. You know, the string is actually tokenized with the help of what you know core NLP.